This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spann. Another surge of very cold air blows in here tomorrow. We think Friday morning will be down around 10. Uh, so get ready. Let's go in there and take a look. Uh, actually, you know, today it felt pretty good. Uh, this is the sky cam coming from Hamilton High School in Marion County. Now, we're only in the 30s, mid to upper 30s, but no wind. And the sun out in full force really taking the edge off of the cold air. That's our Fayette Sky Cam. Same deal there. The sky is sunny. And on the Alabama Gulf Coast, a cloudless midwinter sky is seen from the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. And even down there, they're only in the low 40s at mid-afternoon. You know the deal. Persistent long wave trough over the eastern half of the United States. The next short wave diving down the backside of that thing over the upper plains that will pull down the colder air tomorrow. Nice visible satellite view of that big storm that dumped all the snow on the upper Atlantic coast yesterday and last night that's moving offshore well to the east of Cape Cod now. And yeah, you know, Birmingham's sitting at 37, but it feels pretty good if you go outside. But don't get used to it because the wind comes back tomorrow. And look up north. They're sitting at freezing with full sun at Decatur and Fort Payne at mid-afternoon. Across our neck of the woods, the only spot at 40, and that's Tuscaloosa, and they're barely there. Around the nation, here comes that next pop of colder air coming down from the north. We'll feel that tomorrow. Up north, a, a ground blizzard for parts of southwest Minnesota. Blizzard warnings in effect there. A lot of wind chill advisories for the uh, up Midwest. And uh, down this way in Alabama, the county's highlighted in uh, purple. That's a red flag warning for the wildfire danger. And, of course, you'll have freeze issues deep into Florida, uh, all the way down to Lake Okeechobee uh, tonight and tomorrow night. But it's dry. No snow, no rain to talk about. This is the precipitation valley through Monday evening of next week. So let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Energy coming at us from the north. That'll reinforce the trough. Down below that, the winds pick up out of the north as the gradient tightens up. Uh, winds, I'd say 12 to 25. Maybe not quite as windy as yesterday, but uh, that'll certainly make it uncomfortable. Uh, the high around the freezing mark. The NAM is printing a high of 32 uh, in here tomorrow. And uh, that'll be pretty brisk. In fact, I take that back. Let me refresh that. That was an older data. The uh, NAM is at 34 tomorrow. You won't notice the difference, I don't think. 32, 33, 34, strong north winds. Uh, the sky partly sunny. And I guess somebody somewhere might see a snow flurry, but the air is so dry, the odds of that seem to be very small. Now, Friday morning, this is when we bottom out. Uh, the NAM and the GFS are at 11, and that sounds pretty good to us. Uh, we think the range around here will be from 8 to 13. Uh, not as cold as January 7th. That was the morning Birmingham hit 7. Uh, up in uh, Madison County, harvest at three below zero. Not that cold, but still a very hard freeze early Friday. The day Friday will be sunny but cold, the high only around 32. And again, some locations, especially north of Birmingham, uh, will stay below freezing for about 64 consecutive hours beginning this evening. Uh, here's a look at the plot. Uh, you can see it's really Saturday before we warm up out of the deep freeze. We get out of the uh, 30s up into the uh, 40s on Saturday. But another cold shot coming in here early next week. As the numbers take another nosedive. You can see the model there suggesting we'll be back in that 10 to 15 degree range by Tuesday morning of next week. All right, this is Sunday. Uh, again, uh, sunny uh, in terms of highs. We'll expect a high Saturday in the upper 40s. Sunday, we could do mid-50s. That'll be a pretty nice day, but don't get used to it. Monday, the trough is back. It sharpens up again. The winds pick up. More cold air advection. The latest guidance coming in colder. It's suggesting on Monday, the high will be only in the upper 30s with a fierce north wind, much like yesterday. Here's Tuesday. We start the day 10 to 15 degrees. The high Tuesday only in the low to mid-30s. And even Wednesday looks cold. Wednesday morning, we'll do lows well down in the teens. The high Wednesday, maybe 40 if we're lucky. I don't know, but based on those thickness values, I don't think we see 40. So uh, next week, again, looking very cold. All right, let's go out there a little deeper. Let's look for some rain. What do you say? Next rain opportunity seems to be toward the end of next week. This is Friday, January 31st. That's suggesting rain here, maybe some snow in Tennessee. And the next rain event around February the 5th. And again, same deal. We would have rain here, some snow north of here. And the end of the forecast on the 7th. Hey, the pattern goes zonal. Could it be we're having a pattern change? We all don't buy into that. 
Uh, persistence is always the best forecast, but uh, that would reflect a milder pattern for much of the country, but we'll believe that when we see it. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.